Hello learners, myself Dr. Taruna Malhotra. In previous lecture, we studied about assessment, assessment of learning, assessment for learning and assessment as learning. Today, we will discuss about tools and strategies of assessment. Human beings are tool makers. As teachers, we seek to find tools to make work easier, to utilize techniques to engage students with active in-depth learning. After completing this topic, the learners will be able to identify different types of tools used to assess the holistic development of the students, develop and use achievement tests as well as other tools to gather information regarding the students, develop the skill to frame different types of test items in the school subject. Once again, we have a quick look that what is assessment. The term assessment refers to all those activities undertaken by teachers and by their students in assessing themselves which provide information to be used as feedback to modify the teaching and learning activities in which they are engaged. Teachers need to know at the outset of a unit of study where their students are in terms of their learning and then continually check on how they are progressing through strengthening the feedback they get from their learners. Students are guided on what they are expected to learn and what quality work looks like. Assessment for learning occurs at all stages of the learning process. Now discuss about assessment tools. What are assessment tools? Tools are what a teacher uses to record or categorize his or her observation or assessment data gathered through the use of various strategies. Tools should provide a clear picture of what the learning should look like like criteria or indicators. Assessment includes a wide variety of tools and strategies. This could include rubrics, observation surveys, conferences, running records, student record of their independent learning, portfolios, anecdotal records, tests, checklists, rating scales, samples of writing or work, direct observation, interviews, oral report and research projects. Now we will discuss about types of assessment of learning before going towards tools which are diagnostic assessment, formative assessment, summative assessment, norm referenced assessment, criterion referenced assessment and interim or benchmark assessment. First of all, diagnostic assessment or it can be said as pre-assessment. One way to think about it is, it assesses a student's strengths, weaknesses, knowledge and skills prior to instruction. Or another way to think about it, a baseline to work from. Then formative assessment. One way to think about it assesses a student's performance during instruction and usually occurs regularly throughout the instruction process. And another way to think about it like a doctor's checkup to provide data to revise instruction. Then comes summative assessment. One way to think about it measures a student's achievement at the end of instruction and another way to think about it it's macabre. But if formative assessment is the checkup, you might think of summative assessment at the autopsy. What happened? Now that is all over what went right and what went wrong. Then comes norm referenced assessment. One way to think about it compares a student's performance against other students. It can be a national group or other norm. And another way to think about it group or demographic assessment. Then next is criterion referenced assessment. One way to think about criterion referenced assessment is 
it measures a student's performance against a goal specific objective or standard and another way to think about it a bar to measure all students and last interim or benchmark assessment one way to think about it evaluates student performance at periodical intervals frequently at the end of a grading period can predict student performance on end of the year or summative assessment and another way to think about it bar graph growth through a year teachers can use a variety of assessment tools and strategies to assess student performance some of these strategies and tools include achievement test teacher made test unit test rating scale questionnaire interview checklist portfolio project and case study we will discuss about achievement test the dictionary meaning of word achievement is a thing somebody has done successfully especially using his or her own effort and skill this definition is quoted in oxford advanced students dictionary of current english in 2005 now what is achievement test an exam designed to assess how much knowledge a person has in a certain area topics or subtopics achievement test focuses specifically on how much a person knows about a specific topic or area such as math english or science it's a formal test any test that measures the accomplishments of the individual after a period of training or learning this was given by downey the type of ability test that describes what a person has learned to it was said by thorndike and hagen what are the functions of achievement test it provides basis for promotion to next grade it finds out where each student stands in various academic areas achievement test motivates the students before a new assignment has taken up it exposes pupils difficulties which the teacher can help them to solve in order to assess the learning achievement of the students usually we use test in our schools such tests are prepared by you or supplied to you by the authorities or procured from the open market most of the teachers depend upon test to know to what extent the students have been successful in the learning teaching process and to what extent the learning objectives were achieved by the students the test items used are purposefully designed to measure a clearly defined achievement domain the test items are based on standard content thereby confirming the provision of using identical test to different individuals in different places at different times the test can be administered precisely under the same condition there are two categories of test first is standardized achievement test and second one is teacher made test now standardized test these tests are carefully constructed following a strict process called standardization a standardization process of administering scoring and interpreting the results the standardized achievement test consists of high quality test items which are developed by specialist tried out and selected on the basis of difficulty level however such standardized test have limited use in monitoring the learning progress and using them for furthering learning of the students now we will discuss about teacher made test while teaching in a class very often a teacher has to use test to assess levels of learning of each and every student of the class these tests are essential for making the assessment more continuous and comprehensive some important functions of the teacher made test are firstly to reflect on the day to day teaching learning activities of the school then to develop 
more efficient learning teaching strategies then to know the ability of individual student by knowing the ability of student the teacher may be at the advantaged position to form different ability groups further to diagnose the student's strengths and weaknesses and this helps the teacher to plan for compensatory or remedial and enrichment programs characteristics of teacher made test direction for administration it helps in knowing the learning outcomes sampling of contents in construction frequency of use and what will be the purpose now we will discuss about contents of a test a test comprises of information regarding the testing event like annual terminal half yearly or monthly or untitled the class for which it is meant the total time duration usually in hours for giving complete response to the test depending on the types of items there are different categories of tests as given below first one there is objective test a test consisting of factual questions requiring extremely short answers that can be quickly and unambiguously scored by anyone with an answer key essay type test is a test that requires the students to compose responses usually lengthy up to several paragraphs the distinctive feature of essay type test is the freedom to response or freedom of response again the tests are of three types based on the mode of response to the items in the test first one is oral test answer to each item of such a test is given orally such types of test items are very often used in beginning years of primary schools and also when a quick estimate of students understanding of a concept is need to be checked next is written test answer to each item of the test is given in writing and is also called the paper pencil test everyone is familiar with the written test as it can be used in nearly all occasions then comes performance test when answer to each item requires the student to do some activities like measuring length weight and capacity drawing figures painting arranging the blocks to produce desired designs preparing models etc development of understanding skills and creativity can be assessed using this type of test now we will discuss about unit test in order to make the teaching learning easier each subject for a particular class is divided into some units or topics each unit consists of interlinked concepts though the concepts within different units are related with each other yet for convenience every unit is regarded as independent after the learning teaching of that unit you need to know the extent of attainment of each student with respect to the learning of the concepts of the unit you may not require the elaborate and long test for this what you require is a small test called a unit test which can serve your immediate purpose for all practical purposes the unit test is planned unit test is a piece of code which tests behavior of a function or class unit test are written by the developers now features of unit test it is based on limited competences or specific objectives testing students with it is very informal in nature that is unit testing within the normal classroom time without affecting other activities of the school the maximum marks for a unit test is decided by the teacher marks secured on the unit test are less important than the diagnosis of strengths and weaknesses of students the teacher also decide the time to answer the questions total number of items to be included in the test 
it is purely a teacher made test. Now we will discuss about rating scale. Rating scales may be used to record the frequency or even the degree to which a student exhibits a characteristic to describe a performance along a continuous or to record a range of achievement in relation to specific behavior. Rating scale assesses performance on a several point scale ranging from low to high which may have as few as 3 points or as many as 10. Rating scales can be used to assess a single performance such as an oral retelling or a reader's theatre presentation, to judge the quality of a performance, to provide diagnostic information, to assess the extent to which specific skills, facts, attitudes or behaviour are observed in a student's work and performance. Then comes interview. Interview is an effective technique to collect information directly by face to face personal conversation with some specific purpose. When we need to find the reason for a particular behavior in the student, asking him or her personally is the best way to elicit. The confidence which the student carry of his or her teacher will help the teacher in getting correct information. Depending upon the nature of the task, the interviewer can ask open ended or closed ended questions. Prior to the interview, the interviewer should prepare an interview schedule which helps the interviewer to focus on the point. Structured questions might simplify the categorization and summarization of responses. They might also restrict what the subject is permitted to say. But on the other side, unstructured interviews allow the respondent more freedom. Interviews are quite useful in questioning young people and illiterates. Then comes questionnaire. To assess various traits of students behavior, a questionnaire is fine to be effective. Interviewing a large number of respondents is time consuming and need a lot of labor. On the other hand, a questionnaire is a viable alternative to save time and energy. At a time, a large number of respondents can give information through a questionnaire. In a questionnaire, some items on the issue or topic are placed in a written form. The questionnaire is useful in providing adequate, accurate, unbiased data as required. On the basis of the objective and purposes of information, the items or questions for a questionnaire are developed. It may be kept in mind that the respondent should be made aware that their responses will be kept confidential. Now, next tool is checklist. Observation checklist, a strategy to monitor specific skills, behavior or dispositions of individual students or all the students in the class. A checklist is a type of informational aid used to reduce failure by compensating for potential limits of human memory and attention. A checklist is a tool for identifying the presence or absence of conceptual knowledge, skills or behaviors. Checklist only indicate if a student can accomplish the listed objectives. Checklist usually offer a yes or no format in relation to student demonstration of specific criteria. These are used for identifying whether key tasks in a procedure, process or activity have been completed. It itemizes task descriptions in one column and provides a space beside each item in a second column to check off the completion of the task. It helps to ensure consistency and competences in carrying out a task. Now, characteristics of checklist. Checklist should have criteria for success based on expected outcomes. 
it should be short enough to be practical hopefully it must be one sheet of paper have task chunked into logical sections or flow from start to finish highlights critical tasks sign of points that prevent students from proceeding without approval if needed be written with clear detailed wording to minimize the risk of misinterpretation have space for other information such as the student's name date course examiner and the overall result be reviewed by other instructors now let's have a look on portfolio a student portfolio is a collection of pieces of students work selected to serve a particular purpose it not only contains the works of the student but also the best work of the students students portfolios are often used as an effective instrument for assessing the students portfolios can serve as an effective tool in fostering skills in self evaluation which leads to independent thinking when the student create collect some extraordinary work it is kept in their portfolio by this the portfolio provides students with opportunity to show what they can do with reflection and self evaluation the portfolio of all the students can be displayed in a regular interval by the teacher in presence of all the students parents and teachers this creates an opportunity for further learning as well as involvement of parents in the school activities it provides a platform for discussion on the student's strength and the positive aspect of his or her personality now we will discuss about project projects are quite useful in establishing a link between the knowledge inside the textbook and the life of the students according to ballard a project is a bit of real life that has been imparted into the school project work in different school subjects creates a venue for learning of higher order skills like constructive and creative thinking in project a problem is posed to the students and they find solution to it the projects can be undertaken either by individual student or the students in small groups projects can act as an effective technique for evaluation of students behavior in both scholastic and co-scholastic areas it helps the teacher to get information about the student's ability in applying the knowledge in different situations besides it enables the teacher to know the student's skill in recording the data analysis of the data and documentation of the project now last one is case study case studies are in depth investigation of individual a family a school or a group of children in education case studies are typically conducted to determine the background environment and characteristics of children with problems by gathering pertinent data about the present status past experience and other related incidents we can develop understanding of the present behavior and performance of a problem child like a truant slow student aggressive or depressed child the qualitative analysis of these data is helpful in constructing a comprehensive and integrated picture of the case in case study approach the investigator or teacher collects data from a particular individual and confine their interest to that individual as a unique case or collect data from a small group of individuals which form a unit for in depth study case studies can be vertical means collecting information about the child over a long period of time or maybe horizontal or cross sectional collecting information of recent period from all possible sources about the child the investigator should be thoroughly familiar with the skills which are associated with the conduct of case studies to conduct a case study the following steps may be followed determining the present status of the cases this can be done by direct observation 
you may take the help of any type of test consult with the parents peers to get information about the child determine the most probable antecedents this information helps in formulating workable hypothesis diagnosis of the causes and planning for remedial measures in the light of the causes follow up of the case as an effective technique case study gives information about the case in identifying the problems and plan for strategic development now we will discuss about assessment strategies strategies are the means by which a teacher assesses student progress teacher must consider whether the strategy will allow for the demonstration of the identified expectations or behavior strategies provide specific ways for students to demonstrate their learning students can say can write and can do first one is tracking sheets which is a method of monitoring or keeping track student movement through learning centers or stations tracking sheets serve as a record of what the student has accomplished tracking sheets can be used for assessment as well then comes self assessment the process by which students gather information about and reflect on their own learning it involves questions such as what did i do how did i do it how can i use that i did again how can i improve on what i did it involves metacognition then comes peer assessment a reflective activity that requires students individually or as a group to reflect upon and make observations about the performance of one or more peers then comes quizzes and tests assessment strategies that require students to respond to prompt in order to demonstrate their knowledge or skills these can be oral written or performance now let's sum up achievement test is quite useful in measuring the learning acquisition by a particular student in different subjects based upon the nature of learning outcome and content measured quality of test item procedure of administrating and scoring and interpretation the teacher made tests are prepared according to the modes of responses three types of test items such as oral written and performance based or practical works can be developed and used the classroom teacher while preparing the teacher made test should use all types of tests unit test is basically a teacher made test which is formative in nature the unit test is informally conducted by the teacher it provides credible feedback to the teacher regarding the teaching methodologies as well as to the students regarding his or her learning progress and difficulties further it is used for remediation and enrichment purposes evaluation techniques like observation interview case study portfolio are quite useful for assessing behavioral traits of the student for that tools like observation schedule interview schedule checklist rating scale and questionnaires can be used in the last i would like to say don't kill girl in the womb when she might bring country to gloom save the girl child